Hello everyone and welcome to this quick demo of TinyCore Linux for the Linuxium.com. Today we're just going to be taking a quick look at uh, various parts of the system, how to boot it, what the desktop looks like and how to install applications and finally how to shut down. So hopefully this will give you a good idea of what TinyCore is and whether it's the uh, Linux variant for you. So at the moment my PC automatically boots into Fedora Linux. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to boot into TinyCore using a CD or a DVD. It'll actually fit onto a uh, CD, but I've actually got here, I don't know whether you can see it there, I've got mine on a DVD. So what I'm going to do at the moment is I'm going to put that straight into my DVD drive. And here we go. I'm just going to pop it into the tray. And all I need to do now is I'm going to restart the computer. So I'm going to use the restart option on Fedora. And lo and behold, Fedora will shut down and reboot the machine. So it only takes a few moments here. OK, and the machine shuts down. And then because I'm running Ami BIOS, I have to uh, hit F8 to get to the boot menu. Uh, which just lists all the devices that you can boot off. At the moment, I just want to boot off the CD drive, so I'm just going to take the default, which is uh, my DVD drive, and you'll immediately see that it comes up with the Tiny Core boot menu. So here's where you can put in various options of different modes to run Tiny in. At the moment, I'm just going to hit Enter and accept the default cloud mode, which uh, basically reads the whole of the uh, Tiny Core image in from the DVD and runs it in memory. Now, this is a great way of finding uh, out how to use TinyCore uh, and whether it's the Linux variant for you. And look at that, it's, it's up already, which is really nice, really quick to load. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the TinyCore desktop. Um, as you can see, it's fairly basic. Um, most of the screen is taken up with just the background here. Um, if you do a right click or indeed a left click, it makes no difference. You get a little uh, side menu here that you can choose uh, some of the various tools down the side, system tools for administration. You can create a new virtual desktop. Um, and if you want an explanation of uh, what a virtual desktop is, go to www.linuseum.com and find out. Uh, and uh, also the final option is to log out the system. Uh, most of your uh, interaction with TinyCore is going to be through this bar at the bottom here of applications. So let's go through them from left to right. So the first option here is the exit. So if you click on that, this is basically uh, exiting TinyCore back to whatever operating system you've got installed. I'm not going to do that now. So second option is to open up a uh, command line window. So if you want to type in uh, your textual Linux commands, um, your uh, bash shell commands, uh, that's the place to do it in. The third one along is the apps audit uh, application and this is uh, this controls basically all the patches to the operating system and to the various applications. Third one along is a simple text editor. If you need to edit a text file, uh, very much like um, Notepad, very basic, but it does the job. Um, fourth icon along is where most of the system tools sit, and these are the uh, applications that you saw listed when you do uh, a right click of the mouse here. Um, so various tasks to do with setting up the system and uh, keeping it running in good order. This apps application is one that you'll be using a lot and we'll be looking at that in a later section. Basically how to install and uh, deinstall uh, applications to the tiny core system. Penultimate icon here is the run icon, very much like the Windows run command. Uh, you just type your run line straight into here uh, and you can run a program directly without having to go through the command line. 
And finally on here we have the mount tool. So this just basically lists all the devices attached to the system. As they're in red, you can see they're not mounted. So all I need to do to mount one of these devices is to click on it, uh, if it was mountable, and it would turn green. However, uh, because I didn't mount it in the right mode, tiny core, um, I can't actually uh, mount any of these discs to show you. But basically, if you had the disc um, loaded correctly, all you need to do is just click on it, and it'll turn green and mount it, and then you can uh, access the files on that device. Um, once you, uh, by the way, if you actually install any applications with this installer, what will happen is they'll be added to the end of this bar here. So you'll see your other applications list listed after the mount uh, application. Okay, let's take you through the procedure to uh, install a new application on TinyCore. Um, all you need to do is to move your cursor down into this main um, bar at the bottom. We'll click on the apps, the two cogs. It'll bring up a little window here. We then want to connect to the internet, so we're going to click on the connect button over here. This lists all the packages that are available for installation. So the one I'm looking for is something called MC and it's a file manager. So I'm going to scroll all the way down here looking for the package I want. Um, you can also search for it over here. Let's try that now. If I type in MC, uh, it doesn't look like it's found it there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go for the good old fashioned. Here we go MC.TCZ. Um, that looks good, that's the one I want, so I'm just going to click on the uh, Go button here. I've got various options I can install it on. I can install it so it starts at boot time, whether it uh, starts uh, only when I tell it to, uh, and uh, if I download it and not install, etc., or download it and install once, so I'm just going to change to On Demand. I'm going to click the Go button. So you can see it starts downloading in this status bar at the bottom downloads the various packages and then we'll immediately install it. As you can see that was a qu pretty quick install. It says it's okay, it's finished and we've now got this new icon down in the bot bottom called MC and if I just click on that one you can see the application comes up. It's actually like a simple file manager and you can click down here uh, to view your files for instance. Um, so you can edit. Oh, okay, fair enough not the type of file I can edit. I can try and edit my profile. There you go. And you can get into the editor and out. So fairly useful um, file manager uh, editor utility. And there we go. And that's all there is to installing applications on TinyCore. Okay, once you've played around with Tiny Core to your heart's delight and uh, decided that um, it's time to shut down, we go down and click on this first icon in the bar at the bottom, the exit icon. That'll bring up a little dialog here, and I can move it around. Um, it uh, lists various options. First one is just a basic shutdown, so power off. Um, you can reboot it, so you can power down and power back on. Uh, you can exit to the boot prompt uh, if you have particular problems or you want to play about with the boot options, default options. Uh, and this backup option here, if I actually had any disks mounted, I could uh, back up any changes I'd made uh, in the uh, memory back to disk. At the moment I am just happy to do a basic shutdown. So I'm just going to click on OK and then Tiny Core will bring itself down. So hopefully this has been useful. Uh, if you want any further details on TinyCore or indeed any other of the Linux variants, then please go to www.linuxium.com. Thanks for watching. For more information on using Linux in the home environment, please visit www.linuxium.com.